Hi, welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. Today I'm going to be showing you how to connect stained glass. And this is the copper foil method. So there's uh, some other methods, but this is the one that I'm going to be showing you today. And these are the supplies that you need. You need the stained glass pieces already cut out and ready. Um, if they don't fit very well together, um, you might need to use a grinder or try to use some method <laughs> to get them to to fit, they should fit pretty um, snugly against each other before you start. So just check that. I'm just gonna be joining these two pieces together right here. So have your glass cut out and ready and fit already snugly together. And you need a soldering iron that's hot. Also, I should have mentioned in the other video, it's nice to have a soldering iron where you can control the temperature. And you need to have your copper foil, your flux, with a little brush and your solder. So this is gonna be like be the stuff that, you know, kind of makes it into the jewelry. I really like it. And that's it. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be covering the edges with our copper foil. You want it to be pretty even. So like you want it to come over here pretty evenly with how it comes over there. Sometimes your glass will cut like and break at an angle for some reason this way. Um, and that sometimes makes it just a little bit harder to get that copper foil around evenly, but try as hard as you can. Uh, when you open up the copper foil, so grab your copper foil and you won't kind of peel this cardboardy stuff away and then this side is really sticky. And you wanna place your piece of glass so that it's pretty even on both sides. So however that's easiest for you to do, and you also wanna start at one of the corners. So kinda of get the glass where you can see both sides and start to kinda of press. So this is what it looks like from this side. Press that copper foil onto it. And then you're gonna take the copper foil all the way around that piece of glass. Trying to keep it really nice and even. And after you press it on the side, you wanna just press it down on the front and back pieces of the glass. And you really want this to be as straight as you can make it. So on the corner, just kinda of try to fold it over so you get this nice angle and try to get it to be as straight, as straight of a line as you can possibly get. And continue doing that same thing around your whole piece of glass. If it's easy, you can kind of set it down on the table too. I like to just look at it straight on and try to get it even on both sides. Press it and then I just fold it over and try to get it smooth, as smooth as I can again. The nice thing is, is if you place it on there and you still haven't, you haven't kind of patted it down, you have a little time to kind of move the foil around. And you want it to overlap. You don't want there to be a place where there isn't any copper foil. But can you see this bump right here? That is something I would have used a grinder on because it's, it's gonna make it hard for the next piece to lay flat against it. And it also makes the copper foil, you see how it bumps up right there? It's not a straight line. So that's why um, grinders are really nice to have, but not completely necessary for small projects like this. You can use scissors or just nippers to cut it. When you cover the copper foil, you wanna make sure you don't leave a gap. So I just wrapped it around a little bit more, you can see right there, and tried to make it as smooth as I could. And just go around the edges and make sure they're smooth. You wanna actually do this to every single piece you're going to be using. Um, I'm just gonna show you with two different pieces. So I'll just wrap this other piece really quickly. Really quick, I'm, I don't have Windex out in my studio, but you should clean off um, your pieces before you do this, clean off the um, Sharpie. So normally I would have the whole piece together, but let's just say this, you're gonna do this same thing around the whole piece. So grab your flux and your paintbrush, get a little bit on there. Make sure your iron is plugged in because it needs to be hot when we start. 
And you just wanna lightly brush, brush it on the copper foil. I don't usually, I mean, you can just lightly cover both sides. You don't wanna to use too much. You shouldn't see globs of flux on there. Okay, once you've covered it in flux, you are ready to grab the solder and you do not want your hand to be close to the soldering iron. So you, that's why you kind of just leave this nice long piece of it so that your hand is far away from this bad boy. Grab your soldering iron. And again, I'm just gonna kind of try to clean mine off. I think I just chose the wrong soldering iron. Okay, it's starting to melt. Oh, that wasn't good. Okay, I wasn't paying attention. Just ignore that. That is a drop of solder. Okay, so you kind of just touch it to your soldering iron, wait for it to get hot enough that it starts to melt it. And I think there's something on my soldering iron that is like preventing it. Okay, here we go. So melt it and then you just wanna like keep, keep melting it. Along the copper foil and I'll usually do this and then I'll smooth it out after. But if you're really good, you this is gonna be a consistent line. And what can happen is sometimes it starts to fall through you want it to be a straight line as much as possible. So to straighten it up, I'm just going to use my hot soldering iron. I don't want this huge glob of it right here at all. So just melting it and kind of lifting it off. So we can kind of try to smooth it and get some of that away. Do you see that is a nice line right there. This is not nice. I want that off. Go away. You will just clean that off later. You don't want one part of your line to be so thick like this. So I'm just gonna try to clean off some of this by pressing this and kind of moving it away. Okay, and I want it to really be away. <laughs> okay, so this is a pretty good connection. Um, it's a little sloppy down here. Be very, very careful. This is really hot and it could burn you so bad. <laughs> okay, so let's zoom out. So we have the front side connected, but then you also have to wait just a second for it to cool off a little bit then flip it over carefully. And we need to do the same thing on this side. So if this was a whole stained glass piece, you would do one side first and then flip it over carefully and then, then do the next side. And you can just, you know, you could grab flux and make sure you have enough there. That is what helps the solder to stick to the copper foil. So here we go with this side. So connecting stained glass really isn't that hard. Just make sure you, sh you have a better soldering iron than I do. Also, you're not working on a surface like me that will burn. Dang it. Cheap Ikea table. <laughs> it's okay, I've already burnt this table doing stained glass. Okay, here we go. Make sure you have enough so that you're not going to burn your hand and I had way too much on it last time, so I'm gonna try to be a little bit safer this time. Let's see where I can get this to melt. Just try to keep up with it as it's melting and move it along. See, sometimes it'll start to fall through. It's the worst. Okay, kind of clean this up here. Let me just get this random piece out of there. Okay. Let's 
And that's basically it. So if you get a really ugly joint and you have a big clump that you wanna remove, then all you do is just grab that soldering iron and you can easily um, fix those lines. So let me just kind of show you close up. It's still a little bit hot, but. So close up, I mean, this, this side worked a little bit better than the other side, but you get a tiny bit of bumping here. So what you really want when you're connecting stained glass pieces and you're using the copper foil method is this nice, smooth, um, even line. Like I don't like how it gets bigger right here, but I don't have the other pieces yet to join it to. And then this side, it's okay. <laughs> the problem with this side is when you look at it like this, I'm not quite sure why this happened. Do you see that? That's not good. You don't want it to bubble up like that. That's a problem with your copper foil. So you need your copper foil to be um, really smooth on your glass before you get started and you can avoid doing that. Um, but overall, that is how you connect stained glass. The first thing you wanna do is use the copper foil and wrap it around the edges of all of your stained glass pieces, making sure that it's consistent and even on both sides. And then you wanna use your flux and just lightly brush the copper foil with it and that's going to allow the solder to stick to the copper foil better. And then you wanna grab your soldering iron and your solder and carefully drop and melt, I guess, that solder onto the copper foil, trying to keep it consistent. Um, but still, it's pretty um, sturdy. Um, just a caution really quick, again, is to be careful. This is really hot. You don't ever wanna to touch that before it's completely cooled off, but it does cool off pretty quickly. Um, but still, be careful. Also, look, I burnt my table, so just be careful what surface you're using and have so much fun making stained glass. The next thing I'm gonna show you how to do is how to make a stained glass angel and then how to make a stained glass star. So stay tuned. Also, if you're interested in children's art classes, I have them online on my website, mrotterstudio.com. Have a wonderful day.